Nintendo Switch got eight two uh sorry twenty one sixty two zero 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 two error. This is typically associated with M ninety two T thirty six, the main PMIC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart and do some testing. Well I'll take it apart enough to test and do some testing and go from there. Okay, we have it apart enough to test. Switch over to, uh, to microscope. And we're going to do some initial measurements and looking around. We're suspecting the M92 T36 here. So let's measure around it first. First, we'll check the P13 USB cap. Let me get you uh, centered in here. Okay. One of those should be ground. There we go. Well, I'm not getting very good readings from this. I think there's some flux or something on there. Let's try again. I'll we'll start over with the P13. There we go. All right, now we're getting readings. Okay, well, it's measuring okay, but that doesn't mean it couldn't have failed uh, gracefully. We'll take a look around anyway. All right, check our little filter. Everything around these MOSFETs seem okay. Now we're going to check our little fuse. That's fine. Let's check all of our lines. None of these should be sure to ground except the one near the battery. Okay. So we know we're going to do the ones by the battery. And that's the only one that should be sure to ground. Alright, I'm going to move this pad out of the way for the moment. All right, everything's measuring okay on this side, so we are going to disassemble it entirely and uh, inspect the other side of the board, and we'll test around the uh, Pi 3 USB, and then we'll, if everything checks out, then we'll just replace the M92 T36, which we will assume has failed, failed gracefully, and go from there. Okay, we're disassembled. Let's just do a quick visual inspection. We've already kind of looked around that area. Let's take around our look around our buck regulator. Sure, nothing looks odd. This also give us a chance to measure around our Pi 3 USB. Or P13 USB, whichever one you want to call it. Okay, everything looks good there. So, all right. So at this point, we have to trust the error code. And the error code is telling us that uh, M92T36 is no longer with us, or no longer functioning as it should be. It might be semi-functioning. It is semi-functioning because the thing is turning on. But not functioning as it should be. So we will remove him. 
clean it up and put a new one on. While I'm doing setting up for that, I will throw my temperatures up, click on my fume extractor, add some flutes. I will switch you back over before I start soldering, or desoldering in this case. Change my glove so it did not burn my hand. Alright, switch you back over. Get you in view. Someday I will have the funds to make some upgrades to this setup. That day is not today though. Alright. Right nozzle, right temperature. Let's pull this guy. Okay, we have the new chip on there. It wasn't absolutely perfect or anything, but uh, it was not catastrophically misaligned or anything either. So it will work. Let's do a quick test and see if we get the behavior we're looking for. Let's turn on the voltage. That is not the behavior we're looking for. Could just be arguing with the PSU. That does happen on occasion. But, double check and make sure it's flat. No reason to think it isn't. You can find it. Yeah, it's flat. Of course, this is a new lot, and we're hoping it's going to be fine, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to put it in the housing enough to test, and, well, you know what? I could try with a battery. Maybe that'll wake it up. <clears throat> Try with a battery real quick and see if that'll wake it up. Okay. Okay, that's that's a little better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. That's a little bit 
more uh, hopeful. So we'll reassemble enough to test and go from there. Okay, we're assembled enough to test. We're just going to test with their battery because I think it still has a charge on it. I guess I will switch you over to this scene so you can watch with me. Okay. Okay. Battery symbol. And we're back to life. Fabulous. Okay. So uh, we had the error. Uh, M92T36 seems to be uh, solving it, but. We'll fully assemble it and we'll run it through, you know, joy contests and everything else. To make sure it's still working with everything attached to it too. So we're not done yet. Okay, we have it together. I haven't buttoned up the back uh, case entirely yet because I want to perform a few tests first. Switch you to this scene. Want to make sure it'll power up on its own power without airing out. All right, beautiful. Now I'm going to put on the Joy Cons. Make sure it syncs up with those, and then we'll plug it up to the PSU and make sure it's charging. Okay, and it is very good. Uh, next thing I would like to do is just a dock test just to make sure there's no issues there. Uh, I'll set up for that and we'll come back. Okay, as you can see, it is docking. Switch you over to the capture. All right. That is good news. Okay, in summary, we had an error code 21620002. That is usually indicative of the M92 T36 PMIC. Uh, we changed it out um, it seems to have solved the problem and that's really all I have for you on this repair uh, if you have any questions about the equipment I use in this video take a look in the description below uh, if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like it hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell I usually post about two videos a week at this point um, that's all I had to ask of you thanks for watching We'll see you next time.